Hello and welcome to our national competition in food, farming and natural environment. We've been running the national competition since 2018 and this year, yet again, has been an absolutely fantastic year with wonderful students and wonderful teachers taking part in a variety of different activities here at College Cambria, Clisfassi College. This weekend has been fantastic for the students. They've come and they've been able to learn about all the food, how it's produced here. In addition to that, they've been learning about how farmers are gonna be able to meet net zero. And they've been learning about all the different technologies that are possible in the future to be able to farm uh, sustainably, efficiently, how farmers can implement all sorts of different technologies to uh, generate electricity environmentally and also just basically looking at all the different types of crops that could be grown and the different management strategies that they could use with their stock and their herds to basically reduce carbon emissions and meet that, that net zero target. I really hope that by being here for two full days and taking part in practicals with a range of the college staff that they get a really deep appreciation for the depth and the, the spread of the, the industry um, and how important obviously animal welfare is but also looking after the environment, the soils and how hard farmers are actually working even at a research level but how that's being transferred down to a practical level um, so that farmers can produce our food in the most environmentally sustainable way that they possibly can. You can see a lot of the schools here today are not from an agricultural background so uh, having school trips out like this to farms uh, really helps to widen up their eyes to what the world is like I think. When being immersed in the experience is very different from being sat in a classroom and sort of visually learning everything, stats and figures, but when you're really experiencing it all, it really allows you to appreciate everything you've learned and allows you to, once again, make informed decisions and make a more sustainable carbon neutral future. This weekend I learned that um, agriculture has such a vast and broad meaning. It's not just, you know, oh yeah, they do like arable and it's like the meat on like the shelves in the supermarket. There's a lot that the farmers and the agriculture industry entail, like the forestry and, you know, like the different soils, how much that can affect the arable yields. I think weekends like this are important for young people because before I came here, I didn't know anything about agriculture, farming, nothing. I knew nothing. But coming here to Cole and Cambria, it's been an amazing experience overall. And I think young people should come here because you learn so much and it's actually fun while you are learning it. So I think this offers a fantastic opportunity for students to learn firsthand about the relationship between farming, food and the environment, giving them practical experience on various parts of the farm. So this weekend our students have learned an absolute ton. They've learned so much about biodiversity, about sustainability, about modern farming methods and about how our uh, impact and how the impact of these affect right the way through from actually how it's grown to how it's sourced and right the way to how it's served. Our students have thoroughly enjoyed all the different activities but I think well, the ones that ours especially enjoyed were the ones where they were actually learning about um, the machinery and how the new technology is going to come in and what their opportunities are in the future to create a more sustainable and diverse uh, food production system. It's inspiring them. It's something that hopefully will bring them into aquaculture. I think that's crucial. It gets them out of their normal learning environment. And um, for our kids who are from potentially um, a background where they don't have much agriculture, but there's agriculture around them, it allows them to immerse in that. I enjoyed getting to be with the animals and doing like the practical work with the animals. So my favourite part of the weekend was definitely the forestry expedition that we went on as it sort of opened up a new side of farming and I never thought I'd enjoy such a thing but once I was getting out there and doing something physical it really made me realise this is like something I actually really enjoy and it's also very like stress relieving. We've put so much hard work into this weekend and we've enjoyed every part of it and then just to, just to win it, that's like the cherry on top, that's the best thing ever. <laughs>